When you've left home and you traveled far, it's time for a visit to the Common Beat Bar. Hello everybody, Nathan from Wisconsin here, and welcome back to the next installment of the Common Beat Bar. This one finds us in our fourth city on the road. It is Brookings, South Dakota. One of the most memorable things from Brookings is that we went to that football game together at South Dakota State University. Most of us anyway, my host dad abducted me and made me do manual labor at his lake house. But I hope you all had a good time where the Jackrabbits of South Dakota State University played a game against certainly some other sports team. I don't know. So in honor of this city, today's cocktail is the Jackrabbit. Our primary spirit today is going to be gin. I'm going with a really simple, very popular gin. This is Tanqueray. You want any dry gin, preferably a London dry. London dry gin means that they are legally not able to add any sugar to it after the distillation process. They're not able to alter that flavor. Next, it calls for some French vermouth. So French vermouth is going to be any of your white vermouths, right? Traditionally, uh, this was made in France and the reds were made in Italy, but none of that matters anymore. Borders are open. A French vermouth is gonna be your white vermouth. I'm using Dolly Prot. Then we're gonna use an apricot brandy and a triple sec. Triple sec is super simple. If you don't have triple sec, you can substitute orange curacao, uh, but not, uh, not a blue curacao, the same flavor, but the drink would look super weird. If you don't have either of those, but you happen to have um, something else on your shelf, like Cointreau, Cointreau is the same thing, just five times the price. So we're gonna get started today. We're gonna grab our mixing glass full of ice, and we are going to add, as the recipe calls, uh, for 75, 0.75 ounces, so uh, we're gonna double that because we're in Up With People. We're gonna do an ounce and a half of gin. Everything's a double in Up With People. Ounce and a half of gin there. Next, we need our vermouth and we'll do an ounce and a half of that as well. Your recipe calls for three quarters, 0.75 of an ounce. Apricot brandy right here. Not a lot of call for this, but it is a nice fruity flavor. Now this one calls for a quarter of an ounce, so we're just gonna do a half to meet our recipe. And then our triple sec. I chose Bowles triple sec. Um, it's a eh, dollar or two more expensive, but it's uh, much stronger than your traditional triple sec, so you're gonna feel your drink a little more, which we all know is an important aspect. This cocktail is all liquors. There's no mixer in here, there's no juice, there's no soda. So even though the recipe calls for a shake, what we wanna do is we wanna stir this. We're gonna take a cocktail spoon and we're just gonna stir this 20 seconds, right? We wanna thoroughly combine all of our liquors and dilute a little bit of that water from the ice to get a better mouthfeel with our cocktail. But we don't wanna get the aeration of shaking it. We don't wanna change the texture of our liquors. So we're just gonna stir. Cocktail spoons have the spin in them in the stem so that you can stir easily without knocking ice out of your glass. And that's it. We're gonna take our iced cocktail glass, put the strainer on, and this is the jackrabbit. I'm gonna garnish this with a little bit of orange peel to match the flavor of that orange zest, or the orange curacao. And that is it, guys. I will see you next time in the next city. If you're in up with people, then your liver is strong. If you think you cannot drink us, then you're probably wrong.